Rachel, how are things going for Wigan ahead of this brand new Betfred Women's Super League season? Yeah, we're looking really good. You know, pre-season's been really tough. We've got some new appointments in our SNCs from, from the first team, which has been really good. You know, a lot more professional, a lot, a lot tougher, but the girls are looking in really good shape. Made the top four last year, pushed York really close in the semi-finals as well. How do you close the gap on those top three? Yeah, I think that just shows, you know, the, how far we came within the season. So for us now, it's just about building on from there and, and kicking on. We've got some really young, talented players come through uh, that have been a great addition to our team. So I'm excited to see them play, and I really think we can be up there and competing. What's the, the, the main end? It's just to, to compete, get get those competitive games under the, under the belt and push those uh, teams and hopefully get some wins down the, down the line. Yeah, obviously we want to compete, but also we, we don't play to lose. You know, we don't we don't turn up and, and want to, to lose games and we, we want to win and we want to win that silverware and we believe that we can, so that's going to be our aim for the season. Only a few years away from, from winning the grand final at a, a very wet and windy uh, Manchester. Do you have any uh, great memories of that game? Yeah, that was that was a great day for the for the club and a great a great day for the girls and you know we've we've had a taste of it we know what it feels like but we've also got a lot of new players that, that haven't had that and you know we want to share that success with them and they're just as eager to win some silverware. How frustrating has it been sat on the sidelines for so long? Yeah, it, it's been it's been hell at times. You know, it's been a long 19 months. It's I've been in some some dark places, you know, but I've got a great group of girls around me, and you know the coaching staff have, have been really good, and the club have been so supportive that even when it felt like you know there was no there was no coming back from it, and maybe it was time to hang up the boots, I was always you know reminded that that it is possible, and they sort of kept me on the path to to where I am now, and I'm just so grateful for I suppose being surrounded by the right people. How important has it been that it, in in the club environment, even though you can't play, that you're still part of the the squad? Yeah, it's been massive, you know, because it has been such a long period. There are so many girls now within that team that have played for Wigan many, many times and I've not actually got a chance to share the field with them. So, you know, it is a new in environment, um, but it's been important that I've been there and I've, and I've been around it. And even though when I have been, you know, on the sidelines or doing my rehab, I've still been with the girls and sort of trying to lead them from the sideline, I suppose. Has it given you any thoughts for the future if you want to go into coaching or anything like that? Yeah, no, I don't. I don't think that's for me. I think I'll stick to playing. Um, you know, but I, I do understand that. You know, um, I'm not going to play forever, and you know, this injury has probably made me realise that more than anything. Not to take it for granted, and to sort of my aim for this year is to just get back out there and enjoy myself. Um, from a club's point of view, I'm just going to try and you know drive the women and girls game and and give them the opportunities that they deserve. So, if I can't help them them on the pitch, I'll I'll try from that side. Sky are featuring games between the top three teams. How much of a motivation is that for you to prove to them that you should have been covered as well? Yeah, it's you know any game on Sky is, is great for the women's team. Um, frustrating that that you know that we we don't get out there to, to show what we can do, um, but it just makes us want it more. It's not you know we're, we're not we're not sitting around sulking. We're just gonna you know let people think that we are the underdogs that's perfectly fine for us we're going to come out and, and show that we do mean business and that we can compete with them three top teams and we're going to one of the clubs that have fostered this one club mentality they, they have all sections of the club training with each other do you now feel even more part of the the overall club than you perhaps were for the last couple of years yeah definitely you know i'm lucky enough to see what what the club do behind the scenes and the, the effort that they put into the women's game that you know people might not see and they are definitely firing more and more into it you know the the launch on saturday was just proof of that it was it was massive for the the club and for the whole town there was so many people there to celebrate the women's game and these girls are getting the opportunities that they deserve and they, they feel appreciated and that's all all that we want and all we can ask from the club